Welcome everyone to yet another nostalgia episode. Today we're going to be doing Raven Hellion again, my fourth challenge ever. Now it's been a long time since I played Mass Ravens and I'm a little nervous because there have been a couple patches. Ravens in some way, well they're a little bit weaker but they build faster. That's the easiest way I can put it. Is the strategy still going to work? I have no idea. Let's find out. Alright, the first game is against a Terran. Alright, now I have to admit... I don't quite remember what Raven Hellion was good and bad against in terms of matchups. I feel like it really mostly depended on what my opponent was going to do. A good example is that Raven Hellion was super, super successful against blink strategies. In particular, like, you know, two or three gate blink, like relatively, you know, normal macro strategies with blink stalkers. But that it was absolutely terrible against Stargate, right? Because I, I don't really have a solid end there. Same thing against Terran. I feel like Raven Hellion is a pretty decent composition against your standard marine tank, right? The Hellions deal with the marines, and the Ravens can interference matrix the tanks, making them useless. But then again, if they make a battle cruiser, what, what on earth am I gonna do? Drop 20 turrets just so it can fly away and come back in and kill the rest later, right? So, yeah, I hope battle cruisers are not gonna be a thing in this game. Now, we did play, I think his name is Anthony, right? Yeah, we did play against Anthony, I think. What challenge was that? I think it was recent. Could it have been in the Halloween challenge? I'm not quite sure, actually. We played him recently, though. Knowing myself, I'll probably remember at some point. But anyway, I need to focus on my strategy a little bit. So the start is going to be relatively simple. I could be going for a double gas here, but I think I prefer to just go for the gas first expand. I'm going gas first so I can get my factory a little faster. I can get my Hellions out a little faster, and that's going to keep me safe. It is pretty scary to do this against, you know, the new Cyclone. It does require a decent amount of micro. We, we did have a game like that when we did the Penguin Brothers, where I was trying to defend really fast Cyclones with Mass Heli pretty much. And I mean, it barely went our way. Like, it was definitely hard to defend that. And then, you know, the Vikings came out on the board and the Penguin Brothers absolutely cleaned house. Looks like we're playing against a double gas here. That is okay. I, I think we're already going to play against something tricky. This, I'm I'm not exactly a timing guy, I've talked about it a lot, but I feel like that factory shouldn't have been down yet. And I'm not saying that because of the clock, but I feel like normally if your SCV scout arrives, they're just starting to make the second depot, and then after that they make the factory. So this could be one of those cyclone attacks, and I do believe he played cyclone. I have a feeling he played cyclone. Oh wait, we played him with Zerg. Oh, yeah, okay, now I remember. We played him with Zerg, uh, and he went cyclones against us. I remember that we played him in the last game of an episode, and I was talking about, okay, finally we got a ZVT. The ZVTs before that, we kept playing against cyclones, and now I want to test my strategy against a normal bio Terran. Obviously, he also played Cyclone, so that's, you know, that's where I remember him from. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if that's going to carry over to TVT. His build order already seems to kind of match that, because he is going for a gas first, double gas. That That is a pretty crazy strategy, by the way. Like, normally, if you go double gas, you go for barracks first still, so you at least have a, a remnant of economy left, I suppose. But he's just going to go all out, which is pretty scary for me, not going to lie. Like, I'm only going to have a Hellions. And Hellions are good against Cyclones if you have overwhelming numbers. And the reason for that is pretty simple. It's just Hellions are freaking fast, so they can't escape. Now, Cyclones are pretty flimsy these days. Like, they do die pretty fast. So maybe if I can surprise him, like, on top of a ramp or something, that could be pretty good. But yeah, I, I am afraid, like, for the first two or maybe first four. It doesn't necessarily have to be Cyclones, by the way. But just in case it is, I have to be extra careful. Now, I wonder mostly how the Raven is going to pan out. Because the Ravens, they, they build a little faster. I think... I feel like they used to take 43, like the Banshee. I could be wrong on that. But if that's the case, they build 9 seconds faster. They have a weaker auto turret, weaker everything. I actually, actually think everything is weaker, right? Yeah, I think every ability was nerfed like a little bit. I'm going to do a little bit of scouting here. Uh, so it's basically just a weaker Raven and it builds faster and it's 50 gas cheaper. That's pretty much what it is. So the opponent's also making Hellions. Can I jump down? I can jump down. I want to know what else he spent the money on, right? Like the starport is really late. Keep in mind. Okay, wait, here's the cycle. Yeah, this, this, this could be really good. 
Here we go. I'm going to go for a big surround. Okay, he didn't expect me to come from uh, from the back here, guys. That first cycle is going to take a lot of damage. It's almost going to die instantly. Now I'm going to be able to drop a turret here. This is barely going to go right enough, I think. Oh, we're going to get that cycle as well. That's beautiful. There we go. Let me micro that one back. Okay, the micro has been pretty good. Now, thank goodness for these next two Hellions. But obviously, the trade was still not quite perfect. Oh, I don't think he realized I kept my other Hellions alive. Because he's getting himself into a very dangerous position here, I want to say. Oh, no, I could have micro that out. That last Hellion probably shouldn't have lost that. In the end, still a really bad trade for us. Though, looking at what my opponent had in terms of SCPs, it was not that much. So, normally losing this amount of SCPs means GG here. I mean, it's not great, but I'm not 100% sure if I would call this at this point. Now, I would really like to add, <clears throat> like, an extra starport already. I think that's probably a little bit too much. Like, I also need to make a third base. Or maybe... It, no, I, th I think it actually makes sense. Yeah, I'm going to go for the extra starport because if I go for a third base and macro, my opponent's going to make tanks or, like, a lot more cyclones or whatever he wants to do, right? Probably some kind of mech. Now we've played against him a little bit. I have a little more experience. Probably some kind of mech. And then if I... Yeah, if I don't have, like, an absolutely massive army, we could be in trouble there. Oh, that's going to be two more cyclones dying. Very nice. Okay, I kind of like that. The Cyclones are doing a decent job against the Hellions. Can I maybe micro this? Oh, it's working decently. Okay, can I survive with these? Yeah, the micro here is pretty funny, I have to admit. No, okay, we're barely gonna get... Th there we go. Yo, not bad, actually. Kind of proud of that. That was better than I thought it was gonna be. Now, let's see if I can do some damage here. Yeah, okay, mass Cyclones looks like it's on the menu, right? If you're looking at what he has. Might be able to kill a Viking. Barely not, I believe. Uh, mass Cyclone Viking. Okay. Okay, well, hmm, so he killed one of my ravens. I, I wonder exactly why he's going for the vikings. If he's also going to go for like a lot of cyclones, right? Maybe an anti- oh, anti armor missile could actually be very good. Let me make sure to- I want to research the interference matrix. You do have to research that now, by the way, if you guys didn't see that uh, little patch note. But, um, I mean, against cyclones, I'm not even sure if I really want it. Now, my two starports have been spotted. That's very scary. I'm just going to have to make an engineering bay for turrets. And maybe, let's scan. Okay, the... F hmm. I mean, that that's that's a pretty small army, not going to lie. Like, if I get two interference matrix... Let me upgrade it right now. There we go. If I get two interference matrix, that could be pretty huge. I'm going to make a third base over here. I, I have a decent idea. This, this, this is a little silly, but I think in this situation, it could work. I'm going to bring a couple of SCVs across just so I can place, like, two turrets... Which gives me like a point to retreat to. That's that's the only only thing here, right? I just want to make sure that I can actually retreat against the Vikings with my Ravens. That, that that's the entire plan here, nothing else. And then I, I guess it gives me like a place to rally to as well, which is quite nice. Now I didn't wait. Does he actually not have a third base either? That would be kind of crazy. Does he have this one maybe? I feel, that would be pretty insane if he doesn't have a third base. Okay, so he's... I mean, I say that as someone who made two starpers before my third, but you guys know what I mean, right? Like, you're not supposed to have a third base that late. So that means we could be getting, like, enormously all-in as well. But, like, a massive two-base mech push. As always, make sure to scout the corners of the map when you're playing against someone who doesn't expand. <laughs> Just so you don't get caught off guard by someone having a massive army on accident. Okay. Wait, this is my moment, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm going to send these around. Not everything, though. I feel like the turrets got some shots on, which is pretty nice. I'm going to make some more random turrets. Just because they might just pop off and kill a bunch of stuff. Yeah, this raven can go back. Going to get all my ravens over here. The ravens are going to be everything, by the way. Like, I need to pop off with these ravens. Get the right amount of interference matrix and turrets and stuff. Okay, so here he's going to lose the entire mineral line. That's going to put me in an economic advantage. He's also going to push me with an absolute mega army. That is that is the biggest problem out of all of this. I'm going to fly this away. Here we go. Let me just kill these. And then I'm going to go back. Wait, I can probably... I didn't even... Re I did bring the raven on accident. I mean, very nice, to be honest. Okay. No, not quite yet. Oh, I would love to fight this with the ravens. But I'm not quite ready yet. Not allowed to make hellbats in this challenge, by the way. Just in case anyone gets confused here why I'm not making them. Oh, this one is still here. I wonder if I kill the Liberators. That could have been a couple Hellions. Okay. I can... Oh, there's no space to land it right there. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, that's unlucky. Let's see. If he moves, that's going to be my moment to shine, right? Like, I'm just going to wait for him to move pretty much. Okay, wait. If he's going to come in with the Vikings... Oh, this is, this, is the, this is my moment. Yeah, this is going to be huge. Okay, here we go. 
I'm gonna go in here with everything now. The Ravens are gonna disable every single siege tank. There we go. Oh man, these turrets are in such a good position. Look at this. Oh no, please fight those Hellbats instead of A moving. That's uh, That will be very welcome. And now I'm gonna move them away from the Vikings. And now I'm gonna be able to kill all the Vikings. Oh my God, what a fight for us here, guys. I'm gonna lock him in with the SCVs. And then as he's fighting them, I'm gonna pull them away. And I think... We might have actually done it. I do have my third base saved still. I only have two bases. I have to admit that. Like, it's only two bases here. I think I'm going to bring one SCV across. Actually, I can uh, take a couple of these. I'll take two SCVs across here. Just so I can remake those turrets. My opponent has Thors. That is a very interesting choice. Like, Thors are, like, the best unit ever against Hellions. But against Interference Matrix, there's all of a sudden a very easy target, right? So that is quite interesting. I do feel like I want to go for this, even though I don't have uh, that much stuff. Here we go. I'm going to do one anti-armor missile, because that's going to help my Hellions out a little. There we go. Man, these auto turrets are absolutely popping off. Wait, can I kill these Thors with Hellions? Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. I'm killing Thors with Hellions, guys. Why, why am I like this? I'm killing freaking Thors with Hellions, and I'm going to get his SUVs. The auto turrets are going to take care of the Liberator as well. And since I have the third base up, it doesn't matter that, you know, my SUV count is small. Like, I killed this natural base, which is going to put me ahead in mining. And now, I will have my turret. I wonder if he's going to die to the turret. I do have my turret to fall back to. I'm into the main base. I'm going to kill the rest of those workers. These can chill. Actually, I'm going to send them back home to repair. But yeah, now he doesn't have any workers left. Unless he did take a hidden base after I scouted last time. Or maybe if I missed the bottom left base. But I don't think so. Judging by the amount of units I had, it doesn't feel like the army of someone who had a hidden base all this time. Can I bait the tank shot? Barely not. Let's see. I think I can take a decent fight here. If I get these Hellions close enough, barely not. Okay, I'm just going to kill this Viking. If he lets me kill it. Okay, thank you very much. And I'm going to go away. Now, I wonder if he... I, I think he thinks I'm on one base here. If he realized that I actually have this third base. Okay, wait, he has a planetary. How many SUVs? Okay, so he did take that base after I scouted this. 39 SUVs against, I want to say, like... But that's mostly mules, actually. Like, 15? I mean, it's a very good situation for us. But then it definitely makes sense why he's still here. Now, let's see. I should probably be going for an expansion. The thing is, he can't move out for a long time. So I could either bank on just trying to destroy him right away. Or I could just play it a little smart and get my own... But keep in mind, he does have three command centers. Like, he has more command centers than me. Luckily for me, I have units that regenerate energy. So those are going to be very freaking powerful. Now, I didn't realize that this was so important. But the fact we got in the main was actually massively important here. Like, I didn't realize he did take that base. Kind of well he was pushing, I suppose. So that is going to be, uh, you know, really nice for us that we did break that depot, get into the main base and finish off, I want to say, like 12 SCVs or so. No, and a tank as well, of course. Now, let's see. How much do I have here? I have eight rave. Dude, I freaking love these turrets, by the way. These turrets are actually very cool. I'm going to saturate my third base. I need to fix my hotkeys because my base layout is so messed up now. I keep going to, like, the natural that I don't have anymore. Let's see. Okay, so here's a bunch of tanks. I can kill all of those tanks. You gonna see the turret now? Hey, there we go. Wait, he, he, I think he saw the ravens. Else he wouldn't be moving his vikings like that. I mean, the thing is, I can just kill all of those tanks. Like, the interference matrix are gonna be too good. Like, he's just gonna lose all of these now. Look. <laughs> Wait, actually, guys, I think I can kill this uh, this base over here, too, with the auto turrets. Because I can just target the SCVs with the Hellions. Look at this. Okay, the SCVs are going to die. And I'm going to be able to break a freaking planetary with mass auto turrets. I do it's a little risky what I'm doing, but I still have auto turrets left. He's trying to repair it with his final SCV, but the Vikings are also going to die. And now he truly doesn't have any units left. You can't tell how weak the auto turrets are now, by the way. I feel like normally that would be absolute destruction. But now they are simply not that strong anymore. The Vikings actually kill them very fast. Now I'm starting to wonder if he has another base somewhere. Because, you know, after I missed that one, I'm getting a little scared. But there we go. Anthony has been defeated. Raven Hellion can still get the job done against high-level Terrans. And that's fantastic to see. The units lost absolutely brutal. Like, keep in mind, those energy units are always going to be extra efficient. 9.3k against 15.8k that is beautiful 80 worker skill in a mirror match of freaking awesome that's what that's what ravens are really good at just flying in and just brrr, dropping a million auto turrets everywhere they're not good in the fight anymore that's why i decided to go for the counter attack first but that is an absolutely fantastic and enjoyable warm-up game let's go for game number two all right game number two is against a very high mmr protoss all right well challenge accepted i suppose 
Now, let's see. You know what the thing is with playing against Protoss with Raven Hellion? I remember it very clearly. Is that there was like... There was like a line. <laughs> it's, it's, well, how should I put this? I guess, I guess there was like a, a line in the MMR where above that line, if they would play Blink against my Hellion Raven, I would just get destroyed. And below that line, they would get destroyed. Because there's just like a, a little... A little difference in micro, like they line up their stalkers a little less, they hit with their timings like 10, 20 seconds faster, you know. Uh, and that, that's really how I felt like, like when I started playing Raven Hell now, and my OMR got really high at some point, like I, I had a really good winning streak. I, I remember I played in this ESL cup and I played against Aerog Fire, who was, I mean, definitely way above the challenge. I think at that point he was probably... I want to say like 6.2k MMR, Raven Alien was probably like 5.4k or so, and th there there was just no hope. Like there was absolutely zero chance, and I had it a couple times where I played against a good Protoss doing Raven Hellion, uh, you know, on the stream after, and it was just, it was, it was very, very painful. And I mean, this guy is definitely above that line in MMR, I think it's at like 5.850, which is probably around, what is that, like top 60 Grandmaster or so. Uh, yeah, definitely not my ideal opponent, but what I always do say, and it's true, is that regardless of MMR, people do have strengths and weaknesses. So even though it's unlikely that this person... Let, let's say this person is just an amazing Skytos player in the late game, right? Maybe he's not going to have that micro with the Stalkers early on. Though, even worse, that probably means that he's going to play Stargate early on, which is even better against my strategy. But you guys know what I mean. Maybe this guy sucks at micro. Who knows, right? Maybe he's a freaking macro god. Okay, but he, against Hellions... He, he doesn't have it, you know? I mean, it's, it's possible. Probably not, to be honest, in this MMR, but who knows? Now, I actually have an idea. So, one unit that I am allowed to make in all of my challenges is... The Medivac. So, what if I proxy a Starport and go for a Medivac? I've, I've, I, it's just, if I think about strategies that I could beat a Protoss player at this MMR with, that is the first thing that comes to mind. Like, straight up going Raven Hellion... Yeah, it's probably just not really gonna work. I think I need like some early damage and stuff. Let's see. Okay. Oh, wait, I saw the... Yeah, okay, that is perfect for me. Because now I can send the SCV to the proxy location and it's not going to be suspicious at all. That's actually very nice. Normally, what you have to do is you have to send the SCV back to your main base. So the probe sees you coming back, right? And then it's not suspicious. But now... Uh, yeah, this probe is... Oh, this map is actually a little bit annoying for this, I have to say. Uh, the probe... Yeah, and is it coming back so he can't know whether I'm proxy or not? Why it's annoying is because I wanted to build this a little further away because this is too close, but there's a freaking watchtower there. So if he would just grab the watchtower, then I guess we're just kind of owned instantly. So I, I will have to build it here, which I'm really not a fan of, but it is what it is. So just want to adapt here. Maybe I can bait the adept a little bit. I shouldn't be too risky. I really like doing anti-adept micro with the re No, I did it. Wait, he didn't shade. Ooh. He he, he believed in me. He thought I was better than I was. He, he shaded too late. Oh, that's great. So now we're going to survive. Very nice. Okay, if, if he didn't believe in me there, I probably would have lost the unit. So that's great. Thank you, Mr. Pro. I appreciate the faith. Now, the starport on the right side is probably not going to get scouted too soon. Which means that it's at least going to finish. I, I mean, I would hope so. Oh, there's an adept over here. Okay, that's a dead adept, I think. If he's, wait, where did the adept even come from? I feel like the pathing on this map is a little weird, right? Oh, he's going to go for the Reaper. That means it's going to be a dead Adept. That is very nice. There we go. Dead Adept is going to die. And now, do I have time to repair? Probably not. I would like to repair. I don't think I'm going to be able to get away with it, though. Now, you might notice that I haven't even tried to go for, like, anti-air. That's, that's intentional because I feel like if I go for, you know, even turrets here or something against a Protoss player, this MMR is just, like, a little too much, you know? Like, I feel like I'm playing too safe at that point. Oh, oh, this is perfect. The Reaper bait. Oh, this is massive. Here we go. The Reaper bait is crazy. I'm going to be able to get some really good shots here, I think. Oh, this one is going to be big. There we go. I think we're going to end up killing about 10 workers, which is really nice. Ah, perfect, guys. Okay, that's exactly what we needed. And now I can probably juke him and go back in here. Okay, this is looking pretty good here, guys. Can I get another fat lineup on those four? Oh, good warping by him. Let's see, I'm going to kill this probe. And I want to kill this one as well, actually. If I can. There we go. Do I have boost? I do not have boost. So I'm going to have to sacrifice at least one of these Hellions. Maybe I could get a decent scout off with that, actually. 
Now, the thing is, it is not normal to make more Hellions after that, guys. It's very possible he's going to run across and that I will be able to own him with this medevac. Now, he could kill me at the same time, okay? I feel like this is going to be a crazy game. I would be surprised if he's not going to try to kill me now, to be honest. Like, I, I, I have to imagine that all the Stalkers are just going across the map uh, in an instant. And now, exactly, there's nothing at home. And that is because he's going to kill me. And where are the Stalkers exactly? They're on the middle of the map. There we go. And we have absolutely owned him with a bunch of Hellions and one Medivac. Now, this was, like I said, it was a perfect strategy for me. We were quite lucky. And my, my opponent was indeed just a macro player. Two gate, Robo, going for a third base, left his base open, and we got lucky with the strategy. It was not either a Blink Aggression or Stargate or an early proxy gate. It was none of that. It was exactly what I was. I can't believe I was right there. That, that's pretty funny. Like, this pro is insanely high MMR, but his strategy was just perfect for us. Mass Hellions against someone who's playing very safe makes a very little amount of stalkers goes for detection which he doesn't need gets a blind battery in the natural which he doesn't need like this was actually perfect and this was very very brutal for him we're gonna get a lot of mmr from this and he's gonna lose a lot let's go for game number three we're playing against oh that is the same protoss player guys on the exact same map too oh my god well definitely gonna be tested here um Guys, if this guy doesn't go for a Stargate, I'd be surprised. But who knows, guys? Maybe he's just practicing his, you know, standard two-gate blink defense. I guess we'll see. Now, I would like to add a slight... Well, yeah, a small extra layer of mind games, I would say. So, instead of going for straight-up Gas Force Reaper, I think I want to... Well, I could do the same build. But I want to do a fake proxy with it, I think. So I think I'll just build it over here. Yeah, that seems okay. Oh, I don't have to send it yet, actually, because I'm going to go for gas first. So I can build the gas with this one. And then I can send that one to do the proxying. This always just makes it... Even if it's the same build, let's say he gets the read, right? It's, it's very common for Protoss players to miss or see a missing barracks. Or, yeah, see a gap in the wall, I suppose. And then they're just going to check for a fake proxy over here. Like, it's a strategy that's been used a lot, so they're going to check. But I still always felt like if, if the game looks exactly the same, then it's very easy for him to figure out what's going on, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like if it looks a bit different... The, his mind doesn't just automatically fill in the gaps. I'm not, I'm not sure if that makes sense to you guys. It's just something I've always felt like. So even doing something just slightly different, like build your barracks in a weird location so he has to think like, oh, what, what is going on? Are we being proxy this time? And then he sees the fake proxy here. He might still not associate it with the same build just because it's in a weird freaking location. Now, the part that's going to make this a little less scary for him is that I only have one gas. It could be that he's going to think that I'm playing the Proxy Racks Expand build, which is very uncommon. I think I might be like the only player who did that, so I, I don't think he's going to think that. But you can see he's already a little confused. Like, he hasn't checked anything yet. I'm going to make... He's not even coming down. I'm just going to make my expansion here until he comes down. But for now, yeah, it, it looks like he might just be scared. Like, he, he could actually think... This is so funny. He could Right now, he could think that this is a Proxy 2 Racks Marine. Or like a Proxy Rax Marauder, for example, or something like that, you know? Like, he could think this is so, but it, it's actually hilarious. Like, I don't even have the gas, and now I'm going to kill his pro before he actually gets the scouting going. He might have gone to steal the um, uh, to steal the gas there. That's why I took it instantly. And now I'm just going to go across with this Reaper. Now, I do need to keep in mind he could have made a Zealot. I mean, judging by his pro movement, this was a really good mind game. Sadly, I do not have map hacks, so I... I don't know what his reaction to my mind game was. Would be fun to know, of course, but I, I don't know what it is. So I guess we're going to have to scout it out. I'm, I'm mostly afraid of a Zealot because that could del uh, delay my command center for a bit, which would be quite annoying. Let's see. Yeah, he, oh my god, he got owned by this mind game. That is such a late expansion. Now, the thing that's sad for me... Oh, nice. It is actually still a Twilight Council. That's perfect. Wait, I'm even going to get away with this Reaper. Okay, guys, I'm not going to lie. We annihilated him with this mind game. This is... I feel like we're getting lucky. Oh, okay. I do need to be careful here. Wait, that, this, let's, let's see the timing of that. Is that, a, is that a proxy gate or did he chrono boost that from home? If it's a proxy gate, then we're not lucky at all. We're just screwed. If it's from home, then we're completely fine, however. Oh, he's not paying attention. What is that stalker biker? Oh, he got really lucky there. Okay, let's see. He's going to try to run around, but that's just going to allow me to surround it. There we go. Oh, we got a surround on both units. That's really nice. I'm going to get my Hellions out. I don't want this Zealot to keep slicing and dicing my SCVs. 
Okay, there we go. Now, you could send the Adept across as well. How many SVs do I have? 18. Yeah, it's not great, but he did lose two units for it. I think I'm definitely going to try rush across the map. And yeah, th that's kind of the thing what I was saying. Like, I should be, you know, paying attention for a Zealot. When I scouted his base, I didn't realize it was going to be a Zealot and a Stalker that could have come across already. So that's a slight misread by me uh, on the timings. And that is going to cost me dearly. But maybe I can do some very legit damage with these Hellions. I don't have a Proxy Starper this time. So there's going to be no dropping in the main. But keep in mind that my opponent played a build that was too safe, right? So even though I lost a bunch of SUVs, I don't think the situation is as bad as it would normally be losing that amount of units. Let's see. I think I'm just going to start making Ravens right away instead of the one Medivac. What does he have over here? Maybe he's not even mining from this. Oh, he is mining a little bit. Well, then I'm just going to target the pros that I can see, I suppose. Wait, maybe I he's going to let me run into the main, perhaps. I think so. Oh... He doesn't manage to target that one Hellion, guys. This one Hellion is still alive. He has double battery as well. Oh my god, these Hellions are going to do so freaking well here, guys. Look at this. They're all alive. How is it possible that four of those stayed alive? Oh my god, massive hits. I think I can kill one more, and then I'm going to have to dip. I do want to go for... Wait, he... I do feel like he has suspiciously little, but maybe his build was actually just that bad for him. Let's see if he can do some damage. Oh, we're going to kill even more probes. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Let's see, I got my second factory on the way. Oh, oh, that way, this is actually perfect for me as well. It is DT, so I was right to be suspicious, but I'm playing Raven Hellion, guys. So I have enough stuff. Now, is there a prism here, or is he just running away for the memes? I, I guess he was just running away for the memes. He's going to lose this one as well. Maybe I can body block him a little bit. Let's see, did I catch him? Not quite yet. Oh, uh, there we go. We did catch him in the end. All right. Beautiful, guys. So we did a lot of damage and we countered the DT. I mean, this game is getting really freaking weird, I have to admit. Uh, I It's kind of hard to keep track of those games, you know? Like, who, who is winning? I You guys tell me, okay? I, I don't really know. No, I, I still have my Reaper. That's actually massive. That Reaper is going to allow me to knock out units off the wall with the Reaper grenade. If, if you know... There, there is a wall, of course. Okay, there's a couple too many. Yeah, I don't think I want to YOLO. I would love to, actually. Mm, no, I think if I do that, I will lose too much stuff. I'm just going to drop a bunch of mules. I, I am allowed to drop mules because I have ravens. Actually, I literally have two ravens. So even if there was a war prism, I would be able to stop that. Now, there is a proxy pylon somewhere, I would, I would imagine, right? So maybe I should go and look for that. That's also not the craziest idea. I'm going to repair that one Hellion. I... I'm going to get Interference Matrix. You know why? I was doubting about it, but I'm going to get it because he has a DT Shrine, which means he could make Archons. And Archons are freaking insane against Hellions, but not if you Matrix them, of course. But let's try and find um, a Proxy Pile. Let's see. Oh, he's going to Oh, he's gonna go for a big attack. Guys, we're just going to catch three Stalkers here. That is absolutely massive for us as well. There we go. That is a really big catch. Now, the other Stalkers are definitely are about to be here. I think he's going to catch up with them. There we go. So we killed a bunch of those already. I'm going to do an anti-armor missile, which is going to dodge. Well done by him. I don't think we want to chase that because he... Uh, is going to have his blink in time. I'm going to send those two back to repair. So there's no Archons yet. That is quite interesting, I have to say. I was really thinking there would be Archons here already. Now, I'm making absolutely mass heli, and my opponent's probably on the four gates. I want to say I'm going to scan it. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. So he is here with the army. I'm going to kill this. I wouldn't be surprised if he has a hidden expansion. Well. Can I kill that? Oh, it actually does die. Very cool. I wouldn't be surprised if he has the base on the top, you know? That actually wouldn't surprise me, so I kind of do want to check. Okay, so he doesn't have it. I'm going to come back with these Hellions because he will go for the all-in. I'm pretty sure he's going to go for the all-in, exactly. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop anti armor missile. He's probably going to try blink away. He's not. Okay, there we go. He's going to fight this, and he's completely uh, anti armor missile, guys. He's going to lose so much to these Hellions. Oh, no. He blinked past thinking it was going to be good for him, but I have so many Hellions coming in from the back. Look at this. All those stalkers are getting absolutely roasted. That is just beautiful, and they're all going to go down, and there is the proxy that I was looking for, of course. Now, I could repair that barracks. I'm not even sure if I should be repairing the barracks, and we have done it once again. Yeah, he was only on two bases look at the supply here guys 47 
against 95 and we traded more than double the efficiency making mass hellions against the protoss no like drops into the main or anything like pure hellion raven against mass stalkers and dts and we traded more than half efficiently 2100 against 4850 and this i feel like this is a very classic scenario where i already knew how the trades were gonna go because i played an entire season of raven hellion and he thought okay it's just hellions i can just you know blink forward and it's gonna be fine but with the anti armor missile with the stalkers being clumped up next to the command center the hellions just go absolutely insane we win with double the supply and that's beautiful and i'm not done yet let's go for a final game all right the final game of the day is going to be against intuition a zerg player now i have to say guys it's pretty cool this account normal player i mean i do usually change the names of course but normal player has become kind of my you know my account for different challenges and stuff the mmr is i mean it's it's a bit variable for all the challenges some are a bit lower some are a bit higher right uh but i think i think in this episode we've almost gained 100 mmr already i think we got over 70 mmr from beating that a high level protoss player twice so maybe if we win this one we could actually round it out because i think right now we're up like 90 or 85 or so don't quite remember how much mmr we got from the first guy but right we're playing as a zerg player I i'm walling on the low ground because this map feels oh wait we're playing on this one hmm should i i could actually go for a really cool strategy and just try to like sneak down all these bases in the bottom like beyond these mineral patches i feel like i've explained the concept of this map a couple times but it's not as easy to understand as uh golden wall the other map will have this concept but basically this side of the map is entirely blocked by mineral patches so you need to mine it out and you can get access there but i think it'd be a pretty cool strategy if i just mine this out and just only expand on the other side of the mineral wall take the gold maybe creep up to take his gold obviously it also depends on what my opponent does because if my opponent does it too then i'm not going to be able to take it that easily but you know it's always is worth a shot now why i'm walling on the low ground here is because it's a little bit of a smaller map i'm only gonna have ravens and hellions and i feel like it'd be pretty tough to defend already so if i can get something to help me out here like walling on the low ground instead of on my main ramp i i think that's gonna be a nice yeah i mean a little boost i guess it's also not fantastic because if he has ravagers then what the hell is my wall gonna do right but i, I still think i still think it could be pretty nice it's gonna make it a little bit easier for me so that's cool so I'm going to scout at a normal timing. I, I feel like this guy gained an MMR, by the way. I feel like we used to play him in some of the challenges, but I, I think he used to be a little lower. So maybe he's on the rise, which is really nice to see. You know, good work. Consistent hard work gets paid off, of course. I'm going to go for the factory here. Not quite... Mm, I think this is a typical challenge for the five command center setup, right? Because I, I don't really have amazing defenses. I mostly have really good harassment options with both Hellions and Ravens. My opponent does appear to be going for a very standard... I'm actually going to wall this off too. Just in case he breaks my front wall. He appears to be going for a very standard third hatch timing. Uh, I could tell by the way he was cutting gas. So, yeah, it's probably going to go down right now. I don't know whether it's going to be here or this one. I don't really... Okay, there we saw the drone leave. Could I block it actually? Could I be a bit annoying? Probably... No, it's too late. Okay. Now, I am going to go for a third command center before my second gas, just because this is a techie challenge. So I feel like I need, you know, a, a little bit more uh, a little bit more economy than in the last games, for example. Here we go. Command center number three. It is a little bit early, but that's okay. I'm going to switch these over. I am allowed to make a couple Marines. I'm very tempted. Yeah, I think I'm going to make a couple Marines just to kill that freaking Overlord. Because I just... I don't like being spied on by a freaking overlord chilling on a pillar the entire game, you know? It's, it's not my jam. It just... I don't know. It, I Actually, I, I feel, it's really funny that I ended up becoming a YouTuber because I always feel a little like... It sounds really stupid. I always feel a little nervous when people watch me play StarCraft. Like, I went... Uh, in particular, like, in person, you know? So when I'm, like, playing in the LAN... I always hate the feeling of someone standing behind me watch. Oh no, this is bad. Someone standing behind me watching my games. And the o the Overlord almost makes it feel like that. You know, it makes me feel like he is spying and judging on all my moves. And I, I just don't like it. Okay, so now I'm going to make use of my right to make a bunch of Marines, which is five. Well, I guess, I guess I'll just fill up the bunker. That should be okay. Now, if we're going to play against Ravagers, that's going to be pretty terrifying. I mean, this looks like it could be pretty good trades for us, though. Like if he's okay, that's more roaches than I wanted to see. Not gonna lie, I was really hoping it would just be the three. I'm doing my absolute best to micro. I mean, I do have the bunker out here now. I don't have a starport yet. I I think it sounds silly, but one of my counters to this is probably just gonna be. Oh, we're gonna get that one, nice. 
is probably just going to be to be more greedy. Uh, because then... Like, I'm going to survive this, right? The problem is that I need to win the game after merely surviving. Like, surviving is not enough. That's the thing. Okay, now I have enough units to just go for it, I believe. Here we go. I can probably kill all of these, actually. Maybe he stuck around a little bit too long. I'm going to pull the low HP ones back. So he's tempted to target those. Let's see. This one. Exactly. Okay, that's the micro. And we are going to clean that up very nicely. And I'm going to use my barracks to make a reactor. And I guess my decision to be a little greedy is going to pay off. Now, this is an orbital. I kind of felt like I needed it because I still have to make another command center, right? Planet there would have been a little too expensive right now. I guess actually what I'm going to do, this is a little random. I'm just going to make a bunker out in front because I am going to miss that one planet there, right? So I'm just going to make a bunker out in front and just kind of try to hold it down with... Yeah, I, su I suppose you... Oh, wait, I'm actually going to kill that now. I, I hope we're not going to get flooded by more roaches because then we're going to be in trouble. There we go. I, I would think he's going to expect uh, cyclones, by the way. Just because I've been on the reactor for so long, I would be expecting cyclones. I'm going to do a run by now, and I'm going to follow that up by just making three starpers because we are going to have to go into the ravens, of course. Let's get the gases up and running. Get you guys over in there. Let's see. Okay, that's a lot of queens. Yeah, okay. I, th I think it looks to me like he just went full macro mode. He made six roaches, and that's it. So I think I kind of matched that pretty well by, you know, just making a million command centers myself at the same time. Oh, I need to still get that gas as well. Let's see if I can run by. Okay, that's a decent... That's not that many links, actually. It's a decent amount of links, but also not that many. He's not going to be able to stop these Hellions, guys. There we go. We're into the main base, and... Yeah. Uh, okay, well, that's kind of rude, but you guys... <laughs> I'm not going to tell you guys what it means if you're innocent enough to not know. But all right, there we go. Our opponent was very, very greedy. I feel like this is very typical, by the way. I, I, I feel like in, in StarCraft, it feels horrible when you've been, like, just a little too greedy and you just die to something silly like this. Like, he, look how many drones he had. He had 58 drones, okay? I don't even have the third race on location yet. He has 58 drones. He could have easily skipped eight of those workers to make 60 more links, and then if I run by, he kills all my Hellions, and he's super far ahead. But instead, he was a little bit greedy, and he got punished, and then he got very angry. Kind of a little bit sad about this one, because I feel like it robbed us of an opportunity to play mass ravens. But then again, with the new ravens, it's probably for the best that we're going to keep it at that, because the new ravens were not going to do, you know, the best job ever at fighting. So I'm going to take it for Four dubs, I believe, about 100 MMR gained. But I was even complimenting this guy at, at working hard earlier, so that's, that's unfortunate. But anyway, hope you guys had a fantastic time with this nostalgia episode. Let me know if you want an extra one where I really just get mass ravens just to try. If you enjoyed this, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all for the next one. Adios.